All right, so with the beginning of training camp about to start, we're gonna welcome in Aaron Wilson, the Houston Chronicles Texans beat writer. And he's gonna answer the important questions the team faces headed into the 2019 season. So let's start at the top, Aaron. We already know who's in charge, but is there additional pressure on O'Brien to win since you know he ran off the general manager and the Texans decided not to hire a new one? A lot of pressure on Bill O'Brien. Not only is he the head coach, he is the de facto general manager. Nothing happens without his say-so. He's also the offensive coordinator, so he wears a lot of hats. And if they have a losing season or don't go far into the playoffs, I think Cal McNair, the owner of the Texans, is going to have to make some serious decisions and decide, do I want to go forward with Bill O'Brien, who's four games over 500 and one and three in the playoffs uh, since he's been here. So I think he has to make a decision. Do I go forward with Bill O'Brien? Do I trust him after going through two general managers with Bill O'Brien? And is he the man to lead the Texans into 2020, 2021? I think it's a, really a question that he can't answer yet. He has to see how does the season go and how does this real access of power with Bill O'Brien and Chris Olson and Jack Easterby, all the palace intrigue that's going on with the Texans since the ouster of Brian Gain, how does it all play out? So a top starting quarterback hides a lot of flaws, obviously, and the Texans have one in Deshaun Watson. Um, can he turn into an elite quarterback in year three? I think he can, and what they've done, they added Carl Smith, who worked with Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. Mm -hmm. I think that he could be a great influence on Deshaun Watson, not only because he's been coaching the NFL a long time, he's 71 years old, but he's worked with a dual threat quarterback similar to Deshaun Watson, not to compare them, you know, not everyone's exactly the same, but they have some similar playing styles, and I think that he will be a real benefit to Deshaun. What would help him more than anything, if he gets a full season from Will Fuller, Kiki Kuti, and DeAndre Hopkins, if he has healthy receivers, gets some better pass protection, unlike last year where it was terrible, I think Deshaun Watson could take the next step and truly be that elite franchise quarterback. So if Watson's gonna succeed, he's gonna need a lot more help up front than he had last season. What's going on with the offensive line? It's in complete flux. They're overhauled the offensive line. And when you look at the things they've done, they drafted linemen with each of their first couple picks. They first picked Titus Howard. He may or may not be the starting left tackle when the season begins. Julian Davenport is the returning starter, was disappointing last year. But Howard is a rookie, making a big leap in competition from Alabama State to the NFL. And Max Sharping, who could be the right tackle, same thing. He's coming from Northern Illinois. Both guys are big, strong, smart and off to good starts, but are they ready for the first game is my question. And then when you look at the other positions, Martinez Rankin is going to give Senio Calamente a run for his money at left guard. About the only two sure things are we think, Zach, we think Nick Martin will be the center and that Zach Fulton will be the right guard. Tell me the honest truth. Was Andre Dillard the Texans guy? He was not actually the guy. They really? really did zero in on Titus Howard. When they met with both players, they felt like Howard was more passionate about the game of football, that he would be a better run blocker sooner than Andre Dillard would. Andre Dillard came from a pass first offense at Washington State. They just liked a lot about Howard. The more they got to know him during his visit, during their workout with him, and meeting with him at the scouting combine and the senior bowl, they were convinced he was the guy. We're gonna find out if they're right or is Andre Dillard a better tackle.